Welcome to episode 33 of the Danso Pitch Podcast. I'm your host, Charles Danso. I want to wish you guys a happy new year for those that have just tuned into our podcast and for those that have been following us throughout the years. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for just sharing your feedback and thank you for continuing to continuing to be a part of the Danso Pitch Network. I want to start this episode first by um, just making an announcement stating that we will officially for this Q1 just exclusively host our podcast on YouTube. That's through the Danso Financial Network on YouTube. That's our YouTube channel. Subscribe. We'll definitely have a, a link shared for you to just check out any previous episodes as well as upcoming episodes on our YouTube channel exclusively. Now, getting into today's episode, I want to kind of discuss a few things regarding a brand, a products of this brand that we're familiar with. Now, if you are an iPhone user, a MacBook user, have any family or friends that are MacBook users, iPhone users, you guys are familiar with obviously the tech giant Apple. Apple has been pretty much the staple of business modeling, marketing throughout the years. Um, if you go around any store, you'll see someone with an iPhone, even your family members, like I said, even yourself, there's some Apple product line around the house. So a lot of people may be uh, curious to know that Apple is actually trying to get into car development. Now, a lot of people may be listening and watching right now and saying, why the hell would a company that's so successful building out a, a phone and computers want to get into car making. Well, you could thank uh, Tesla for that. Tesla is a big proponent in electric vehicles. They, um, throughout the years leading up to right now, is probably the most profitable, if actually is the most profitable, car vehicle manufacturing company out there right now. They have been innovative by focusing on EV, electric vehicles, and as a result, um, obviously with us um, being more cognizant of how air pollution is, how you know fossil fuel cars, fuel cars are basically polluting the air. So having a, a, a car like a Tesla example, and obviously they're not the only car makers that's doing it, but they're the ones that is the most popular and the most profitable right now is basically um, building out this, these electric vehicles. Now, Apple, is not actually, um, this isn't the first time they tried this. They actually did try to actually get into the car making business in around 2014. Uh, this is when Tim Cook was still obviously CEO. He wanted to kind of get into the car making uh, business. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't really have the right business plan in place. So they didn't really see the success that they originally thought that they could kind of get Gardner early on. So they ended up actually firing a lot of people that they hired to kind of start uh, building out these cars, electric cars back in 2014. And even uh, they just ended up scrapping that business idea altogether. Now, obviously with the success of Tesla, Elon Musk obviously being the brain behind that as a CEO of Tesla, um, Tim Cook and his, his partners, as well as even shareholders of Apple have probably decided to revisit this idea of wanting to basically build out an electric vehicle, have a, have a car um, basically automated through Apple. Now, for me, what I will share with this is how does that affect as a stock? Um, there's no real deviation in stock. Um, right now, Apple had, is successful with, like I said, the iPhone, obviously with the MacBook, and so many other products, the Apple Watch, now even, excuse me, they got into TV with their streaming service, Apple TV. So car making would actually kind of deter them from the success that they're having. But if they are able to make profitability as a company, it would definitely be a benefit for them. Now it's gonna be a lot of work because apparently Apple is actually looking to manufacture these cars themselves. Now, as you guys may, may know or may not know, when, when Tesla originally started making their, um, their cars, they actually were not profitable for the early part of the couple of years. They actually were putting in more money into 
the company of Tesla, then they were actually pulling out. And it took a while. It took Elon Musk having and his team to kind of restructure a lot of their, their business ideas and plan to build out these electric vehicles. And over time, they were able to make profitability. And this was just a couple of years um, before, like in 2018, 2017, is when Tesla really started to become a staple in the car making industry. So for Apple, um, they have a target date of 2024. But in my estimation, it probably will take uh, close to the, the 2030s, probably 2028, 2027, until Apple is going to see some real profitability in that car making industry. Now, there's many factors that come into place. Is having the, the right engineering, is having the right um, automation. There's people that you hire that are able, they have to test these cars out to see success. What is this battery life um, for a lot of these electric vehicles that Tesla is trying to basically manufacture? That's something that also test, uh, not sorry, not, so I said Tesla, Apple has to look into and kind of um, this, the factor is again, how long will it take um, to basically build the right uh, battery for these electric vehicles? What is the power that they're trying to have? Is, is it trying to run on, on uh, how much mileage, so to speak, and, and so forth? So again, these are going to be just ideas that the Apple team, the Apple manufacturers, um, that, they, that they're going to have to decide. Now, um, Ironically, Apple has actually um, put five patents in that they want to kind of give you an idea as to how their electric vehicle is going to look. Now, if you guys would allow me, I would like to go through these five for you. The first one is augmented virtual display. This is a patent that Apple just recently applied for, for their electric vehicle, which it basically will make it easier for people to use their iPads, their Macs or other devices while riding in the car, especially in self-driving mode uh, without getting car sick. Now, for those that a lot of times I have uh, people that I know that usually when they're in cars and they're doing different things, different tasks, they end up not feeling well. Um, and a lot of times for those that also, you know, when, you, when you're on your way to, to work or you're in, on your way to the grocery store, uh, you want to take a call and somebody's asking you to do this thing, I think that's that's a benefit because obviously you have um, self-driving, which allows you to work on your task while going, driving around, doing the task that you have to do. And also uh, for those that may get car sick a lot of times, especially young children, I think this is something that allows you to basically have a virtual display. Maybe they could watch cartoons while the uh, you know, you're, you're focused driving so they don't, you know, have to bother you while you're driving. Just an example like that is one of the ideas that Apple is looking into. The next one uh, that Apple applied for for a patent is climate control. Now, climate control, Apple plans to use sensors inside and outside of the vehicle it plans to develop, in addition to other potential input to measure such data as temperature of car seats, of certain passengers' body parts or the amount of sunlight radiating into a window or sunroof. Now, what that means is for those uh, listening and watching right now, Apple pretty much put in a patent to have uh, uh, their car, basically, as soon as you jump in the car, let's say you're feeling cold, the car will automatically measure your body temperature based on when you sit on the car, and then it'll actually put a temperature that will be comfortable for your body. Also, for those that may park outside, a lot of times, as you know, when you when you have the sun beaming on your car, uh, you get in, you feel so much hotter than what it is. It's probably like 40 degrees out, but it feels like it's like 70 or 80 inside your car. Apple would actually have uh, uh, something inside their electric vehicle where it would actually put the temperature to the actual normal temperature it's supposed to feel like. Now, I, I'm, I'm out the dark as much as you guys, in terms of how they're going to go about doing that. But Apple has yet to fail me being a stock investor in Apple. So I'm pretty sure they'll be able to figure that out through their testing as to actually figure that. So as opposed to you, let's say that your car has been sitting in the sun and you feel so much hot, hot. Uh, when you get into this car, the electric vehicle they plan to build out, you feel normal. Uh, if it's hot, you're going to feel hot as opposed to feel hotter. If it's cold, you're going to feel the cold but you're gonna feel it in a way where it's not something where you're like, why is it, it's 40 out, but it feels like it's 80 in my car because of the sunlight. 
Now that's something that I think is important. A, a lot of times I think that's a benefit for myself being, being from personal experience. And we'll look forward to see what Apple does with that. The next piece is system for method for dynamic privacy and window tinted. Now Apple plans to build out a vehicle where as opposed to for those that like building out tinted windows, you can actually have a system inside the electric vehicle that allow you to do that for privacy. Let's say that you're with somebody, you know, you don't really want people knowing about what you guys are doing inside your car. Um, you know, that's a benefit. Um, you know, if example, you have something personal in there and you have to run into the store or something like that, and then you just hit a, hit a switch and then that, and then your car will automatically, uh, tint out. So now that's, that's some futuristic stuff. I don't know how the fuck Apple's going to do that, but I'm excited because if, if that, if that's the game Apple put it on, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with that. Now, the next piece, the fourth one that they have put a patent for is Bluetooth location of your vehicle. This is something I'm super excited for, ladies and gentlemen. Having the ability to be in a garage with 100 other cars when you forget where you parked your car and you just basically look on your key and it basically signals you as to where to find your car is a staple. And I'm super excited for this one because a lot of times we've all fall victim to this. We go to the grocery store. We go to work for a period of time. We, we go out to eat with our friends or family. We park in a garage or we park in a parking lot. We can't really find our car. We got to keep beeping all over before we finally hear the sound. This one, Apple's new car, they plan to basically have where you would just look at your key, like how I'm looking right now, and it would actually show you. It will, it will basically tell you, go left, go right. It will have probably Siri, I'm assuming, probably tell you where, where to basically locate your car. Now, Apple is a game changer in that. And I'm, again, I'm excited to see what they do with that. And the final one is a charging station with passive alignment mechanism. Obviously, for those that have seen Tesla's charging station, you've probably seen it in your neighborhood. You've probably seen it by the grocery store, the gas station. Apple will have their own charging station for those that are looking to get this car eventually when they build out. Now, again, the target date for Apple to start and have this completed is as, as early as 2022, but their target is 2024. Now, again, like I said, there's a lot of factors that go into this. One is how much profitability is Apple willing to make in the first couple of years? Because a lot of times, and, and Tesla has been evident of this, is you will be putting in a lot more money into building out the cars as opposed to actually selling them early on in the car manufacturing stage. So Apple has to look at that. Um, is that something they wanna do long-term is where they're willing to sacrifice more profit and lose in the earlier years and hopefully look to gain in the later years. Apple is doing well through the iPhone. Like I said, their streaming service now is starting to gain some traction as well as their MacBooks, they're pushing out products. So the thing is, what does, that, what does that do for you as an investor? You may take a hit early on because of the fact that once they actually start development of the car, they're, they're gonna probably end up having to use a lot of their profit to basically um, you know, invest into having these cars manufactured. The beautiful thing about Apple though, is they have something called free cash flow. Now, what free cash flow is basically, I call it fuck you money. What fuck you money basically means is money that companies can basically spend out is just extra cash they have on hand that they can use for any project, quote, quote, project, could be car manufacturing, could be just pushing out a new product altogether. Apple has a lot of free money to basically utilize this. That's probably why you see them giving out money for diversity. Uh, right. I heard that they given out money for HBCUs and a few diversity private equity companies. That was the most recent story that they had. That's all coming from their free cash flow. This is just money again that they have laying around that they say, hey, maybe we can use this as a philanthropic effort or just use it to re innovate our business. Now, I believe they'll use their cash flow. I know they have like 
it's in the millions, I think even close to billions at this point in terms of their free cash flow. So they definitely have the profit ability to basically utilize that to manufacture their cars. Um, the next piece is again, their competitor. Obviously Tesla is the big dog right now. Um, how is building out a car manufacturer inside a company like Tesla, who's basically uh, like the Amazon of their of their uh, sector, which is the car manufacturing sector right now. Um, how is Apple going to basically handle that? I think Apple has such a big enough brand globally that a lot of people would be invested in this, uh, you know, in terms of just wanting to see if they can actually pull this off. So I do see a lot of people wanting to order these cars early on once they're actually built out. Uh, once they actually have started to promo these uh, cars when the time comes. So I do believe as an investor, you may see a hit early on, but it will recover. So I definitely recommend sticking to your stock as an Apple investor and even buying more shares because if Apple is successful in, these car making, in this car making industry, it's going to hold well for a stock investor as well as Apple, most importantly, of course. Um, the most important thing is keeping your shareholders happy. I'm sure Tim Cook and the rest of them will tell you that. Um, and again, uh, the next piece is Apple is planning to actually partner with Hyundai. Now, again, this is just speculation. This is just re reporting the news. This, is, this doesn't necessarily mean this is what Apple is actually going to do, but this is what they're looking to lean towards. It's partnering with the Korean car manufacturer, Hyundai. Uh, Apple and Hyundai plan to sign a deal that would lead to a beta version of the Apple electric vehicle as early as 2022, according to a Sunday report from Reuters. The companies are planning uh, to sign a deal by March 2021, which is end of Q1 or quarter one, uh, to partner on the cars, according to a Sunday report from local newspaper Korea IT News. Obviously, uh, for those tuning in, this may hold some weight. Again, like I said, Hyundai is a Korean manufacturer. It was, it was, it, it's founded in Korea uh, by Korean, Korean manufacturers. Again, this is Hyundai. So coming from the source, I think this may hold some credibility. Uh, so this is just something to look into in terms of if Apple is actually going to do this, which I believe personally that Apple will. Um, because of the fact they've again they've seen success of companies like Tesla, uh, Volkswagen is now getting into it. Uh, Ford is getting into electric vehicles. Electric vehicles is the future. Obviously, you guys have I'm sure you've heard. If you haven't, California has passed a uh, 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 gas emissions uh, uh, legislation, uh, which basically means again they will they're looking to go all electric in the next uh, three to four years. This is California, so which tells me that more more states are soon to follow, moving away from the from the original uh, fossil fuel, um, you know, uh, cars and moving more to the electric vehicles. Now that doesn't necessarily mean everybody's going to get a free Tesla or free Apple car, electric car, but what that just means is a lot. They're they're looking to partner and 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 go electric. Uh, a lot of these states, uh, obviously California, leading the way in that result. And um, continuing, Hyundai and Apple may build a U.S. factory that would eventually allow the companies to make about 400,000 vehicles each year. Now, Apple, sell, Apple is looking to make about 400,000 cars a year. Uh, Tesla currently sells about 500,000 a year. So that's a little bit of like 100,000 short, which is a tall task again, because again, like I mentioned, Tesla is leading in the car manufacturing business and they're killing it. Their profitability right now is equivalent to four of the major uh, car manufacturers in the world. So just to kind of scale that to say like, Tesla is basically like up here and then everybody else is basically right here. So for Apple to basically want to go toe to toe, they have the brand, they have the capital, it's just they're jumping into a new sector. So again, it's they're going to have to restart as a little guys and then go against a giant like Tesla. Now they can do it. Uh, like I said, Apple, Apple to me has always figured out a way to innovate themselves in a way to always find a way to keep their brand standing, to integrate themselves in various industries. 
uh, like I said, they got into TV right now with television. Uh, they got into to, to music. They've gotten into athletics, even with partnering with athletes and, and, and thus forth for musicians, even entertainment. So again, I do believe Apple will be able to innovate the right way into the car industry once they actually start building out, start having the right business plan in place and having the right investors in place, including their own. Because again, I'm pretty sure, like I said, with the partner with Hyundai, other car manufacturers may want to get in on this because again, you have the biggest brand in Apple with a boatload of cash. They just need somebody that can help build out these cars for them. So I could see uh, them acquiring maybe a car company, a car manufacturing company to be more technical, um, to help build these out for them and just put it under the Apple umbrella. So again, if you are a stock investor in Apple, I recommend looking at it, uh, investing in some stock, Apple stock, if you have it in the next year or so, I do see these, this stock rising. Um, if you've been paying attention, like I said, um, Apple is, is just, is just I, don't, I, never, I don't bet against certain industries, uh, certain companies. I don't, bet in, I don't bet against the tech industry. Uh, I don't bet against Apple. I don't bet against uh, Amazon. I don't bet against... Uh, Facebook, which owns Instagram, WhatsApp. I don't bet against those type of companies because even if they are going through something, they always figure out a way to innovate and just rise above it all. So again, as, an, as a stock investor, I definitely recommend looking at it. Um, you know, Apple is, is Tim Cook, you got, is, I got to give him props. You know, he, he has taken the, the reins from from a Steve Jobs and has taken Apple to the next level. So for me, again, the car industry is a tough industry. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't know that because I don't build cars, but I've read stories. I see individuals like Elon Musk, like Honda, like, uh, like I said, um, just various other car industries that are have basically try to, to, to innovate and it's, and they ended up spending and going through a lot of hardship in the early years. Because again, with car manufacturing, there's so much test, there's so much money you have to put in for the right uh, parts, the, the right engineering, uh, the right uh, uh, passing, you have to get certain laws passed before you can get on the road. So that's all money that's being expended. So again, Apple early on will, will basically have to pull in a lot more money than they will probably like. But I, like I said, in the long term, I do believe that they will get profitability if they are serious about being in this car industry. And I do believe they're serious. And I do believe they will be successful. Uh, would they be able to match Tesla? I don't think so, because I just feel like just Tesla has that leg up. And you see how Tesla is building out these factories worldwide. They're just going to get more innovative. They're just going to build it out. But I do believe Apple will get into the car industry and they will make a name for themselves in there. The brand is important. So I don't see Apple's uh, executives doing something where they feel like it would dilute the brand or make people want to question the brand in any way. Apple is a staple that's always going to be here long before you and me. So again, um, I believe in them doing this. It's just going to shake up the car industry. And, you know, I, I, good job, Apple. You know, we all got to clap for Apple because they're killing it right now. They're doing well. And again, I'm excited to basically see what is next. Now, um, as mentioned, being an Apple investor, uh, right now, Apple is trading, I think, at like 129, 132. So for those, you know, if you have a, uh, you get paid, have a paycheck, whatever the case is, get a little bit of money, invest in some Apple stock. Uh, you know, I don't, I would never tell somebody what to do in the stock market. I would just recommend, I recommend, excuse me, investing in some Apple stock It's right. Um, I think it's, it's, it's just a benefit for you long-term and it's just something that you want to look into now, again, um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I wanted to make this just an intro introducing you guys to the dance. So pitch 2021, uh, tune in, uh, next week for our next episode subscribe please subscribe share this with your friends family significant other co-workers just let them know about the dance so pitch podcast subscribe through our youtube channel i will have the link available for you guys and i want to thank you guys so much 
I'm excited to work with you guys this year, providing information as needed for you guys. And we will continue to build out and work and, and, and just give the valuable financial literacy and business acumen as needed. This is the Danso Pitch. I am Charles Danso, your host, creator of the Danso Pitch. And I will see you guys next week. Take care, all right?